Okay, today we're going to look at um, index numbers and what they show us in relation to the share market. They are a, a really good way of actually getting a feel of the market and finding out what's going on in a really general kind of view. If you have a look here, we've got um, a whole stack of graphs. This is BHP. So if we want to look at BHP, th these four graphs are all for the same day. So if I was going to ask you to tell me what's happened in the market in one day, you'd be looking at these and going, well look, if I look at BHP, that kind of goes down, and, or that goes up, and then it goes back down again. So that one's gone up and down. But if we have a look at this one here, which is NAB, it goes down as well, similar to what's happened here with BHP, then it goes up and, and over. So they're, they're kind of similar. But then if we have a look at this one, which is a mining company, it's gone down and up and down and up and down and up. So it's actually gone against this trend. See how that one's gone down? This one's kind of started higher and it's dropped a bit, but doesn't quite correspond with the other times there. This is another one. This is another mining company. And this is just fluctuated down really low, really, really, really high and low, and finished down a lot lower than what it started. All of these other ones have kind of finished higher than what they started, higher than what they started. So if we're having a look at these four graphs, we're not really able to tell what's happening on the market. So you've got to come up with a way of being able to generalise what's happening. So that's where the All Ordinaries Index has. What they do is they get a whole lot of shares uh, from a whole lot of companies. So they look at the prices of a lot of companies. And, and then they create an index. An index is a number that indicates what's going on for that day. So they're saying, while we're looking at all these companies in the on the share market for this day here, that's generally what's happening on the market. So you'll hear on the news and things like that where they report back on what how the share market's gone. There's a couple of other indices that they use, um, not always the all ordinaries. So how does it actually work out? Inde and what does it mean? Index numbers show you the, the change in variables over a period of time. They measure the change in value from one period to the next. A variety of data is used to summarise it into a single finger, making it a single number. Okay, so when you look at that number, you can compare. The ones that you've probably heard of before are the All Ordinaries Index, which is one for the share prices, and the Consumer Price Index, which is inflation. These are the two that we look at, really, um, in this course. So let's have a look. How do they work out the, the All Ordinaries Index? So I've just made up some companies here and some prices and things, but basically this is how it works. You have uh, the names of some shares, you have the number that are there in that portfolio, the price that they are, and then it's tracking the prices that are going. So this could be over day one, day two, day three. So these shares, the ABC shares, have gone $2.56, $2.81, then $2.91. So to get the value, all I'm doing is doing the 1,000 times that gives me that. The same sign, 1,000 times by that one gives me that one there. 1,000 times 291 gives me that one there. Same with every one of them. I do it all the way through. And this gives me a value, the value that those shares are worth. When we add them all up, we get an aggregate market value, or an AMV. So we've added them up here and here. So what this shows us is the value of that portfolio of shares at the end of the first day's trading, second day's trading, and third day's trading. So now what we need to do is actually generate an index number, turn it into an index number. And what we do is we have the base number times by the over the AMV1, and that will give us the index number for the next day. Now this base number is generated uh, initially by uh, when they first set it up and it's normally like 500 or 1000 or something like that and then it rolls through um, from the calculations you do from one day to the next day. Now let's show you how it works. Let's say that we have a base number of 500. Okay, and our AMV2 is this one here, 1, 6, 9, 30, divided by 1, 5, 8, 60. And when we go that one divided by that one times by 500, we'll end up with 533.73. So what it means is from the day previous, this has gone from 500, the index, or the shares on general, the index number has gone from 500 to 533. 
So it's risen, so the market is rising. Now when we do it for the next week, next day, using the next two days here, which is the value for 2 and the value for 3, we get another thing happening down here. So we get a um, we get this thing happening. So once again we have our base. Now this is going to be AM V, we're going to grab 3. But our base is going to come from here. Because the index the day before was 533.73. And now we grab, we get rid of AMV1 doesn't exist anymore. We'll grab the next one, 17310A divided by 16930. And you get a grand total of 545. 0.71, which means that we've had an increase over these three days of, we've gone from 500, we've gone up to 545.71, which means that we've had an increase of 45.71 points. Okay, so that tells us that the market's been rising, so it goes up or down. So you're grabbing, as you go across, you're just putting the values in here, and they keep on rolling through. Notice that your AMV2 here becomes down there. So then it rolls through. So you can set this up in a spreadsheet and it would be a really good way of working it out. Now, what happens though, when you want to work out the percentage increase, because you want to be able to work out whether the market's gone up or gone down or not. So a nifty little formula is new value take old value times by 100 gives you, the divided by the old value, gives you a percentage increase. Now you've just got to make sure that this bit gets done first and then you divide by your old value, otherwise you get a funny number. So let's have a look. We started off with our index at the beginning was 500 and then it moved to 545.71. This is our old value. This is our new value. So if we go new take old over old times by 100 this will give us a percentage increase so that'll be 545 whoops 0.71 take 500 over 500 times by 100 okay make sure you do that in a bracket and you'll end up with 9.14 percent increase so it means that the market is going up by 9.14% from when you started recording to when it is now. Now you can look at any week or something like that, but that's how they get the prices and things on the news, where they talk about a 9% gain of the share market and those kind of things. There you go. So that gives you a whole lot of things on index numbers, and um, hopefully that will help you. Oh, wait a sec. Um, if you're going to do one here from the uh, All Ordinaries Index, which is XAO, same deal, new, take old, divided by old, times by 100, it gives you 7.48. So from 1999 to 2001, the share market has gone up 7.48%. Just another example uh, of how you use that new, take old, over old. Okay, new value, old value. Making sure that you do this first before you divide it out at the bottom line. The obvious way to do these calculations, like for your index numbers and then your percentage increases, is to do it by using a spreadsheet. Now we'll be doing that a bit later on for um, maybe a project we'll be looking at, and we'll run through it in class how to set up a spreadsheet that creates your own index and your percentage increases so then you can work out when to make trading decisions.